few questions for you about uh, post-secondary education in BC. Great. So our, our first question is pretty general. Can you detail any points in your platform to talk about post-secondary education? Sure. Well, as I said tonight, as we had the, the great meeting here at UVic, uh, the skills training piece is an enormously important part of building a stronger economy in British Columbia. And it's something that we've been emphasizing in our campaign right from the launch, is that as we see a resource economy grow, uh, one of the one of the great benefits of a growing resource economy is we can see the opportunities for education, for skills training developed uh, more extensively in different regions of the province. And what I'd really like to see over time is utilizing broadband and use, utilizing distributed learning as a way of generating more educational opportunities in more corners of British Columbia. One of the big challenges, for example, in the northeast of the province currently is that they can't get engineers. Uh, the closest engineers are resident in Kelowna, and that's really, I think, unacceptable. So, to me, uh, the expansion of education, the expansion of, uh, of skills training is pretty much central to, to uh, building a stronger economy. Great. Thank you very much. Um, so, BC currently has the highest rate of interest on student loans in the country. Uh, it's, right now, it's 5 plus 2.5, uh, completely eliminating the interest on student loans. As predictions cost about $30 million annually. What are your thoughts on uh, interest rates on student loans in BC, and would you be in favor of reducing or eliminating them? Well, I'd certainly be prepared to, to look at reducing them. Uh, and my understanding is that currently the program is constructed to be uh, revenue neutral uh, to the government. So the, the, the consequence of that is that uh, students who default on their loans, the cost of that default is, rests with uh, the balance of the students who are, who are paying the student loans. As a consequence, you are facing a little bit higher uh, interest rate than you would otherwise. I know my friend and colleague Maura Stilwell, who's also running for the leadership, has suggested that she would be willing to review the rate. Uh, I also would be willing to review the rate. I think it, it may be an unfairness to see the overall cost of the program captured in that interest rate. So I'd be prepared, prepared to look at a lower interest rate. Uh, I don't think I would want to look at completely eliminating uh, the, uh, the student loan return. Uh, that would really be, I think, penalizing some er other area of education to do that. But I do think we, should, we need to be very reasonable in considering uh, perhaps an adjustment to that loan to, to bring it into line with other jurisdictions. Uh, third question. BC currently has no grants program for the secondary level. Um, post -secondary level. It was eliminated in 2004 uh, when the government moved to a loan forgiveness program or a back-end grants program. Currently, uh, BC has the lowest back-end grants program in the country at 10%. Um, student, several students now feel that a front-end grant program would help them meet the needs of their education now. But would you consider implementing a provincial grant program or increasing the level of non repayable loans? So I never close the door to any uh, discussion of ways to improve programs. I'm sure uh, in this area that we can look at improvements as we might in any other areas. I know the way in which we have constructed our support both front-end and back-end in terms of uh, student supports whether through loans or grants or or remission on loans. The, the aim of that has been to try to reward those students who've come to university who've performed well at least to certain uh, prescribed levels and when they do that we provide some loan remission. The question of whether to take some of that benefit and put it on the front end I guess is a good question. We do have a passport to education for uh, several years now. I think uh, every baby that's born in British Columbia there's a thousand dollars goes into a, a bursary fund for them for, for university. So there are some front end pieces that, that exist. I'm certainly prepared to, uh, to look at uh, further discussion about other front end pieces that we could consider for British Columbia. Uh, uh, but you know, on balance, I think uh, where you where you reward students for successfully completing, rather than perhaps providing uh, some front end money and then seeing the student withdraw in three months or six months from the program, uh, it does make some sense to have uh, more remission on the back end. To me, but I don't miss, dismiss it anyway. The the possibility of looking at some additional front end support. Thank you.